Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. And today we're going to make a watermelon feta salad. Yum -y. Um, So you can um, buy a big watermelon if you're making for a lot of people. I'm just gonna make for a couple of people tonight. So I bought some pre-cut watermelon at the store, a block of feta, and I'll show you the rest in just a second. So my blocks that I got are just a little big, you're gonna want about a um, one inch cube of the watermelon. So I'm gonna cut these down first. And again, like I said, if you um, have a giant watermelon, you could make a whole bunch of this, just scale it to order. And if you like your chunks bigger, then don't cut them smaller. Now you are gonna wanna have either no seeds or very few seeds in the watermelon. As you can see, I've got some of those tiny white ones, um, which are fine. And um, in the summer, this is just an amazing, fun thing to take if you're going to a picnic. Um, just throw it in the cooler. It'll last outside for a little while. Okay, we've got just one more to do. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna go ahead and chop our block of feta. So you wanna buy a block. So you can see this is a solid, you don't want the crumbled stuff because we're gonna cut it into chunks, just like we did the watermelon. Okay, and you can scale it to whatever works best for you. Um, if you want more feta, less feta, then uh, just do what makes you happy. Cooking should always be fun and uh, you should always make it to how it fits you and your family. So I think that's probably enough. We'll do one more, how about that? Okay, now that we got that done, we are gonna make just a real quick sauce. So I have just a little bit of olive oil here. We're gonna pour a little bit of that in there. I, this is a white balsamic. Um, now you could use a regular balsamic, but we're gonna use a white. And I'm doing about half to half, oops. So 50% of olive oil, 50% of balsamic. And that way then uh, the taste will balance out. We're gonna put some fresh pepper in here. If you love pepper, add a whole bunch. I personally do like pepper. And then um, just a dash of salt. Okay. I'm gonna give this just a real quick stir. Okay. We're gonna take some fresh basil and chop this up and put it in there. You're not chopping it to make it like uh, teeny tiny. You can see how big it is, right? And we're gonna put that in there. That'll coat it and it'll also make it so that the flavor gets in the oil just a little bit. And one of the other main ingredients is onion. Um, this recipe is traditionally made with red onion and you're gonna cut them in big chunks. So I'm just gonna slice a couple pieces off. Okay. And you always take off, of course, the hard part. And we're literally just gonna cut it in half and half again. So you can see they're pretty good sized pieces of onion. That's part of what makes it beautiful. Break your onions apart, add them in with everything else. 
We're going to give this a quick toss. Add our sauce. And this can be served right away. Um, doesn't have to sit. And voila! You have watermelon feta salad. And I'm going to go ahead and plate this so you can see how it looks in a, in a serving dish. And then we'll give it a taste and have fun. All right, so we've got it in a cute little bowl and ready to go. Let's give it a taste. Make sure we get a little bit of everything in there. Mm. Delicious. You know, I never was a watermelon fan, watermelon fan, but this can make you change your tune. Watermelon salad with feta and fresh basil, a little balsamic to die for. Once again, thanks for joining me for What's Cooking with Rochelle. Bye for now.